let's say that you have never heard of the law of gravity and at times you drop your cup of tea by mistake, stumble or even fall down without knowing why. You turn your TV on and watch a well-planned show in which selected experts announce with an almost artificially serious look that the cause of all these mishaps are your neighbors. Yes, your neighbors. They tell you to be careful of your downstairs neighbors, the most dangerous ones, since when they breathe too deeply, the contents of your apartments will be sucked to the floor. When we inhale deeply, the science explains that just like a vacuum, things and people get violently attracted to the floor. It is therefore suggested to not breathe deeply so our upstairs neighbors won't suffer this aforementioned fate. You can protect them by simply depriving yourself of your daily intake of oxygen. Warning! This concerns individuals regardless of where they live, even those without neighbors. The science confirms that human respiration, especially that of your neighbors, don't forget, can create vibrations which travel through the air and draw everything towards the center of the earth. Nonsense, right? Well, that's what mainstream media is. You change the channel and even after you turn off your TV, you hear the same story over and over again around you. The message is spread everywhere and you keep it alive by thinking about it constantly, talking about it daily and taking actions towards it. One day, you meet a stranger who seems to disagree with this message. This person gives you a book that has a different explanation for all of your mishaps. On the cover of the book can be read the following words. The law of gravity. It suggests that objects and people do not fall because of their neighbors, but instead that there is a terrestrial force which attracts them to the ground. In this book, we find scientific experiments and explanations, we find deeper knowledge. As you get closer to the stranger, you take a look at the book's cover. It looks too old, it doesn't appeal to you. Then you look at the person in front of you. You observe his hands, clothes, face, hair, but nothing appeals to you. You don't even like the way he talks. You decide that you won't read this book. In fact, this concept of gravity is a ridiculous idea. Experts will have already mentioned it on TV if it was a real thing. You turn your TV on again and you let yourself get swept away by this hypnotic box that keeps molding your thoughts. You have, without realizing it, laughed in the face of knowledge that could free you from manipulation and your fear-based beliefs and superstitions. Unconscious that mind control led you to take this decision, you remain convinced that your thoughts are your own. Now, let's say that you have never heard of natural law. Would you accept the book? Ha 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 